you guys, what's up? It is March 14th today. Happy Pi Day for those who enjoyed or indulged themselves. I am updating you guys on my goals for 2022 since we're about to reach the end of the first quarter. Um, even though I didn't necessarily break them up into quarters this year like I did last year, I um, very early on realized that I wasn't quite satisfied with the goals that I had chosen. Um, so this was like two months ago, maybe mid-January or so, and I was talking with QWERTY um, and on a stream or wherever, and I was just like, we can swap goals, right? <laughs> like, there's, it's our goals, no one's holding us to it, but there was the whole like, you don't wanna feel like you're quitting or giving up on something. So I stuck to it and I'm still plugging through, but I finally decided yesterday that the certain goals that I set, um, particularly the ones with like um, reprinting my graphic novels, while still a goal I want to achieve, I gave it too many slots. <laughs> so essentially, that is still part of the target goal to work on those, but there are other things that I want to do, especially things away from my desk. So I'm gonna remind you guys what my goals were, what I've got done so far or what's in progress, and then show you, or just, I guess, tell you really um, what, what we've changed, alrighty? So as usual, we got the journal here. This is like the first journal I have consistently gone through and I'm probably going to fill back to front, which is impressive because sometimes, so many times I've started notebooks and then uh, not finished them. But the reason was because I had a different notebook for everything, whereas this is just like dump all the thoughts and ideas. So what we had initially was in no particular order, um, publish Den of Sparrows, which is the sequel to Tower of Dogs, and part of that, those separate goals, were to finish the manuscript, obviously, so like get all, essentially that goal I was going to mark done once I had draft one or two done, um, which I'm currently in draft two now working on the developmental edits for betas. Um, so once the beta readers get it, I think I'll mark that as done, even though I'll still have to do edits, but all of the edits after beta readers, I'm gonna count towards work, like working on the publish part, because that currently is set for November 12th of this year. So, things I really, really need to focus on. Um, another one was designing nine going green cards for my mom's environmental program. I finally did those in February. So I sent her all the front images and I was like, okay, we're done. And she's like, oh, but I want like the line art and this and this size. And she wants a couple other just versions of it, which is fine. Like I kind of knew that was coming up anyway, but I said, I can't do it till I get these, uh, this book to the beta readers. I wanted to make four crochet critters. Last year I did a uh, fox and then as much as I wanted to do more, I did not. I, it was on my goal every single month, every single quarter and I just never, <laughs> I just didn't crochet again. Like I did, I think I made like a little basket hammock for my dryer hedgehogs, but I didn't really make a critter, I didn't do nothing. So here's where I'm at with the first one. It is my rhino dino. It's really kind of basically a dinosaur, but I think because it's gray, it's my rhino dino. So um, I do want to obviously attach the head and the body. And then um, I have a couple little more horns to make and then maybe just put some like nubby arms and feet. And depending on how well these attach, I may or may not like give it a scarf or something. Cause I feel like attaching these pieces can either go really well or not. But it's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, okay. We're, we don't have to treat you guys like puppies. You are adults, probably, kinda, sorta, maybe. Anywho. 
So after that, um, honestly, I ha that is my first one and I do plan to finish it this month, but with kind of this beta version goal, I want it to be done by the 22nd. Like the 22nd of every month is my, my soft, is it my soft goal or my hard goal? I'm not sure I'm using those terms right, but that's like when I want to get the most important thing done, if not everything. That way the last week of the month or so I can, you know, play a video game or I can do something to like take a break. But I've been coming off vacation and restarting was hard. So that's probably, I'm probably not gonna get a break at the end of this month. Again, like I said, in no particular order, I have nine of the 22 goals dedicated toward reprinting my manga because I had two more volumes to print for with a cherry on top and seven total volumes for Kuro Kenshin or the Kuro Kenshin Rebirth series. So I had wanted to reprint all of those this year, which I did get both of the with a cherry on tops done. I just have the, the second one should be live and the third one I do have the file up, but I want to order it's proof copy when I order the proof copy for this book too, just because I guess. Um, figured just order them at the same time. Uh, so that should be the end of this month and I can order those. And then with Kuro Kenshin, books two through six are pretty much just flipping and then working on the text a little bit. But the first book I would have to put a lot of time into and the seventh book I do want to extend slash redo the ending because I feel like I made it too short and I just kind of ended it there so that does need to get done properly so I'm gonna go I'm gonna expand on this a bit more once I talk about the new goals that I'm going to do but the the seven that were remaining for Crow Kenshin is now one and it's just you know put time and work onto these with the primary focus being that first book. Because once I figure out the first book, the others are going to fall into line really easily and it won't take too long to do them. So if I get ahead on other things, I can still do them this year. Probably not going to... I knew from the beginning I probably wasn't going to be able to redo the ending of the seventh volume. It was very much a push with everything else I wanted to do. So the new condensed goal for those is to work on the first volume and more if possible. Um, and then I had the goal of starting the draft of the third book in the Eden Trilogy because there's a certain date that I want to release it. I'm not gonna say it now, but it's definitely a stretch. Like it would be a push. I have to draft the entire novel by like September <laughs> in order to hit that. Instead of just starting the draft, I will be putting more effort into it. And then we had the goal of updating my websites. So not just my main halomoonstudios.com with all the updates on the manga, but making sure like I have a Patreon update every month, a Kofi update, um, trying to at least check my other platforms. I'm definitely not creating as much this year for the platforms because I'm so heavily trying to re, like I said, remaster these books that I've done, get this new book done, do with these other like things. So it's, it's it has not been a, like a video year. Like I did a ton of videos last year, or at least in the first half of last year as part of the other goals. I did want to read 12 indie books and that was with the intention of reading one a month and then having that indie spotlight review as my at least one video going up per month. So I have already read three indie books but I have not read the official one for March yet. So that will be my fourth and I got a couple others lined up. So that is going fine. Not any issues with that. The last one that I had that was like desk work was drafting the trailer for Tower of Dogs because I wanted to do an animated trailer. This was the other one that I was just like, 
it's gonna be like the super super rough draft where I like choose the 15 or so seconds of music and draw sketchy lines because I want to actually put the effort into it so I don't want to rush it but if I prioritize getting the novels done which I do want to do then the trailers may just come out late they may be <laughs> after the fact but they're still gonna be trailers to promote the books so yeah no and then we have this is sort of a work not this kind of work but my work I have to pass one more exam for my license certification thing registration for that is in two days and I have not even looked at the study material but I was planning to take it in June which if I fail I can take it again but I don't want to fail so I, I if I do plan on doing that I do need to put some time aside to study and then I have just like a financial goal of lowering our house debt and then uh, the last two of the 22 were doing a 30 minute 5k so being able to run 3.1 miles in 30 minutes I think that was the reason why I chose that was because when I was running consistently I th I'm decently sure that 30 minutes was the best time I ever had thereabouts now while I am signed up for a 5k in May and in July July is more of an obstacle course one so I'm not at all concerned about the time I'm also not really concerned about my time in the race in May either because I'm doing those with friends and it's really like let's just go out and do this so this is definitely more of a push myself on the treadmill kind of goal like right now I can do a 12 minute mile which is five miles an hour I need to do six miles an hour if I'm gonna do a 10 minute mile consistently to hit a 30 minute 5k so in order to give myself sort of a boost I did make one of my new oh I didn't even finish the other one well pause on that there was the last 22 goals of 2022 was to do 22 push-ups in a set that one's pretty straightforward I think I can do 12 to 14 now and I'm not on the knees that's the thing not on the knees real push-ups we got to do 22 real push-ups and I'm also tracking how many push-ups I do each time so I haven't been very consistent but I am almost at 400 for the year so hopefully by the time I'm hitting a thousand which is like my number goal I'm able to do the 22 but back to that whole 30 minute 5k I'm adding in the new goal of being able to do a 10 minute mile because it's one thing to need to do it for 30 minutes it's another thing just to get to the point where you can at least do one third of it it makes sense to me I needed a stepping stone that I can like actually push myself to achieve without being like I have to be on here for 30 to 40 minutes this is gonna blah, I gotta conserve energy versus let me see if I can do this in 10 minutes <laughs> so we'll see how that goes and then I have to reference my computer now because I don't have it written in here the other one is to learn a dance choreo not necessarily a whole song but a segment or chorus or whatever because I um, I used to do dance more than with the back injury I've definitely cut way 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 back but it's still like as many times as I tell myself I just need to let it go it's the one like fun physical activity that I'm always coming back to and I'm just like you know what let me pick a choreo that shouldn't hurt my back and try to learn it because in that repetition I will be away from my desk I will be working out having fun and hopefully increasing fitness that way and then this one's another like rough uh physical goal it's to do a five minute plank I've been close or I have done it before when I was at my, my fittest but doing planks to strengthen the core actually will help my back as well so this kind of helps me it should help me build the habit of doing planks I am gonna start out on my knees just because I really need to build that up but that should be a good addition to my everyday in order to strengthen my back so I can do the things the remaining three that I have or so are just focused on writing um, for book three so it's like get 50k in the draft get 100k in the draft because it's gonna be more than a hundred um, and then doing the cover 
and prepping it for publishing. So definitely want to focus on writing more and not feel guilty because I put these other things that aren't a priority, like yes, I want them done, but this book is way more important to me. So we are just going to finagle. And I think if you guys have created goals this year that aren't working for you or that you would like to change or just kind of like tweak a bit, do that. Like it's your goal. The worst thing you can do is force yourself to do something you either don't want to do or cannot do. So then you feel like you can't accomplish it and then it kind of just ruins everything. So just saying, I'd be changing my goals or tweaking them a bit. So do I still have 22 goals in there? I mean, I still have the, I've only completed three officially, maybe four. So I still have 18 of the goals that I'm pursuing. And you could say yes by, de by the end of December, but some of these kind of stretch into this beginning of next year anyway. So the original, the OG goals are definitely by the end of 2022. Um, there's only like one, you know, if I work on the third book, it would be coming out next year, but you get what I'm saying. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, if you guys got goals, you need to change, do that because you need to work, do what's best for you. And sometimes when it's end of December or beginning of January, we have very lofty goals and we think we can do all the things. And then when we actually start, we realize that's not what you wanted. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to get back to work on book two and try my darndest to get this draft ready for uh, beta readers by the end of this month. And there will be a vlog coming out specifically for the developmental edits that I'm doing and like my process with that. So keep an eye out for that video. That one does require editing. This one, I'm just like, I need to get this up and out. And hopefully, I don't think, I don't think I dragged on too much, but I'm starting to go on the tangent in the Midwestern goodbye. So I'm going to stop talking. You guys are going to go have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.